So I shouldn't make a video with this because if I fill my channel with garbage content like this, like junk food content, eventually no one would watch. But honestly, it, it made me laugh so much and I, I think some of you might appreciate just how silly this is. I think this is the only meme from the left that is legitimately funny and it's funny because they actually think this. Like there are actually people on the left who genuinely believe these things. So let, let's look at it. If you're ever wary about a guy, just ask for his opinion on The Last Jedi. So I, I guess if you're a single man looking for a lady, uh, you don't need to know your Zodiac side anymore. No, you need to watch The Last Jedi because you're going to get the interview. But what I love about it is that they, they genuinely believe that The Last Jedi is a movie that's really appreciated by women. Like women everywhere love The Last Jedi. Um, they want to believe that The Last Jedi is something like the Fifty Shades of Grey of sci-fi or maybe um, Twilight or something like that. Like a, a movie that women actually love. But no, like The Last Jedi is universally hated. The left won't recognize this, but no, trust me. I know Star Wars girl fans that are absolutely livid with the poor quality of, of The Last Jedi. Uh, and not only that, like most women probably don't even know about The Last Jedi. Like if you go to a woman in her 40s or 50s, like, she, you know, if I ask my mom about The Last Jedi, she's like, what the fuck? But anyway, right, so <clears throat> the Canto uh, bite segments serve no purpose. Uh, they don't understand how plot and themes are related. So this is something that a lot of uh, culture critics uh, are trying to push. Like whenever a movie is bad and they try to spin it as if it's good, they, they talk about my plots and my themes. Um, in reality, there are no plots and themes. It's just them trying to smell their own farts and sound more educated than they really are. It's like they, they have some sort of deeper understanding of the lore. Uh, but no, no, like th this is what I hate. If you go Rotten Tomatoes, you found like the the audience score which is the one that matters really and then you have like the professional critic score it's like what makes a professional critic a professional critic like does he go to a critic school or something does he learn the the arts of critic jutsu or some shit like what seriously what makes a movie critic better than the average joe i generally never understand this the only thing that makes him better is that he has a job at the guardian you know he has a job at a publication that smells of cat piss because of all the single ladies that work there. That that's literally it. That is why you know, like, what what makes a a critic that understands the the themes and the plots and the uh, uh, uh. Uh, no, the Canto bike segment served absolutely no purpose besides catering for the left. It's like, oh look, communism good. Oh oh, like the uh, uh, the the poor oppressed people and the wealthy they they profit from war and shit. Um, the scene makes no sense. Like, they released the animals, which were bred in captivity. They released them into the wild. Probably to suffer a gruesome fate, by the way. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, if, if anyone knows anything about animals, an animal that's raised in captivity isn't going to adapt to, uh, to the wild. And even after they release the animals, like, what, what, what is to stop someone just capturing the animals again? It's just... If Holto had just told Poe the plan, none of this would have happened. They don't understand the concept of men facing consequences for their actions. It's like, okay. Um, Poe was the best pilot in the Resistance, right? Like, see, he, he wasn't a traitor or anything like that. He was someone that they trusted. And he manages to destroy one of the ships which could have ended the movie. Like, in the beginning, that, that cruiser or whatever it was, like that destroyer that was bombing the planet, had the ability to outrange the resistance and just bomb them from wherever they were. Like, Poe did a very cost-effective move. Like, yeah, okay, they lost all their bombers, but they managed to take out a ship that if it would have been alive, they would have just taken that. Like, nothing from this movie makes sense. Literally nothing from this movie makes sense. And, and it doesn't make sense, like, why an admiral, regardless of gender, would keep the plan hidden from her team. Now, initially, right, like, if, if I were to ride The Last Jedi and give an explanation of why Holdo withhold the plan from uh, uh, from its for, from her men is that they didn't know why the Empire catches up to them and they might think that they have a mole or a spy or something like that that is transmitting to the Empire the, the information 
Cause, cause that like the the empire was well the empire the the order or whatever was using like some sort of new technology to track ships through hyperspace, and the rebels wouldn't have any ideas that this was going on, so they could have just said, well, you know, we can't tell people the plan because they might you know radio the empire with the information. So, you know, like at least that would have been a better explanation than uh, she just doesn't want to tell the plan because like. So, so you're saying that if you're a commander, you're not the one responsible for the morale just because she has a vagina. Like, men should just blindly follow. No, that doesn't happen. Like, men don't even blindly follow other men. But this is my favorite one, right? Like, this is Ethan Van Skyver. Like, I love this little dodge. Like, Ethan Van Skyver, if you don't know, he's the mad lad. Like, Count Dankula needs to make a video of him. He, he probably is one of the only person on Earth that purchased... Not one, but more than one Rose Tico action figure. And he did the thing that the left hates, which is desecrating their holy symbols. Uh, now, the left doesn't purchase Rose Tico, because Rose Tico is a holy symbol that needs to stay where she is, which is gathering dust in a Toys R Us store. But uh, the guy actually purchased them. He purchased these action figures and cut with, with bolters, cut a couple of them. And, and the left is freaking out. It's like, oh my god, oh, oh, the race, the race. Um, so the Rose Tico character was useless and poorly acted. they racist and probably hate women. Well, just to be sure. I mean, they're definitely racist because, you know, they don't like a diversity character. But we don't really know if they hate women or not. I mean, the, the thing with Rose Tico that, that really made me not like her, um, besides the fact that she tries to electrocute Finn, well, she does electrocute Finn, who wasn't even a member of the Resistance. Like, he, he just knocked a ride. He didn't sign up for that shit. You know, like, if you watch the first movie, Finn never actually signed the contract or anything that he's part with the Resistance. So so he had all the right to just fuck off. But no, the the, the thing is, like, the, it, it was so artificially towards the end that she doesn't let Finn sacrifice himself and, and actually fulfill a redeeming arc for the character. But she also violates him. Like, the, that kiss towards the end was so forced, was just... There was no chemistry between these characters. You know, like, at no point did I get the vibe that Finn likes Rose Tico. The, 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 the romance between them was not made at all. So it just seems like, you know, she, if a man would have done what she did, everyone would have been screaming me too. It's like, pound me too, pound me too. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that the hashtag used to be pound. That That's how people used to, to call it. Um, but don't be surprised if the internet is now trying to like photoshop this meme and, and try to you know replace the dialogue with other things um <laughs> it, 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 it's really funny like I, I genuinely do not know like what echo chamber must you live in because because these people aren't a lot right like, they, they don't have the numbers because if they did have the numbers then the movie wouldn't have been a bust uh and they, they literally believe that bullshit. Like, they legitimately believe that women just love The Last Jedi. You know, every woman ever identifies with Rey. And uh, it's just because of a couple of angry men that the movie doesn't work. And it's like, okay, well, how do we explain the fact that the park, the, the Star Wars theme park, was like a ghost town at the opening day? How, how do we explain that there are thousands upon thousands of Rose Tico's action figures screaming to be purchased at a bargain and people just don't buy them yeah like it, it, it seems that you might be a little bit wrong on your hypothesis that it's just a couple of angry trolls on the internet um it, no the 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 star wars park oh my god like I, I wanted to make a video on that but like i was busy at the time but it was so funny like the critics were saying that if you don't get a ticket three months in advance you're you're not going to be able to get in like it's, it's going to be so packed so packed and they had like the critics and the critics uh went there first and you know great reviews like 10 out of 10 kotaku type reviews uh then when people actually went they were selling lightsabers for i believe i might be mistaken but i believe it was like a hundred dollars for a lightsaber like really expensive ones that would also break down um half the park wasn't even open so you know it, it was so bad and not to mention like there wasn't any buzz there wasn't any interest for people going to see the... Like, I, I do not understand how. Like, th this needs to be written in history. How Disney could have ruined one of the most successful uh, franchises. Like, it's so easy to make money out of this shit. It's so easy to make money. All you have to do is just have some spaceships flying around and go like... Pew, 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 pew. 
and, and he would make money. And yet they, they managed to take this formula and fuck it up. And not to mention, like, you know what I noticed? It's like, I watched recently the, the previous uh, movies with my girlfriend. And they have a lot of aliens in those movies. It's like, aliens everywhere. And in the new movies, it's just humans. It's like, oh, we're so diverse. Diversity. Oh, look, we got a black guy. Oh, look, we got an Asian chick. And they forgot about the aliens. I mean, yeah, sure, there's an alien here and there. But overall, it's just like, it's humans in space. And it's like, this is supposed to be sci-fi. You're, you're supposed to take me to a galaxy far, far away. You know, like, show me some cool aliens. Show me some shit. Show me a, a hut or something. Nah. No. You know, like, overwhelmingly human, both in the Resistance and in the Order. So, you know, that, that was something that I noticed. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think. And I'll try to stop uploading these, these junk food videos that just make me happy. But uh, probably waste your time. Because you want to find out something more insightful from me.